What's up? This is your host, Non-Fungible TC, Non-Fungible Today, and Non-Fungible Tomorrow. And for those of you who are in this video, I'm sure that you want to know how to make the 100 1000x. But today I'm going to share with you something that other YouTubers won't share with you, and that is common sense, okay? And uh, in the past, I've seen, you know, I've been participating in a, a lot of NFT mints, and I found out a lot of people, or maybe bots, are doing this stupid mistakes, okay? So if you don't learn this, if you don't watch this video, you will never make money with NFT. And the reason why is that you will lose out money because you have a lot of transaction fees, royalties in between, right? So today's episode, I want to teach you how to make money with NFTs, right? But in a way that is a common sense way and not like flipping other projects and things like that, right? So if you're a new beginner, this is the video for you. Or if you do not have this understanding, this is the video for you. So for example, there are two ways for you to make money with NFTs if you want to flip it, right? Or if you want to trade it. The first one is minting, which is buying the NFT um, at the uh, sale. Uh, the other is buy and sell in secondary markets, right? Like OpenSea. For the first scenario, if you mint an NFT, which is 0.1 Ethereum, right? Usually when you mint the NFT, you'll have to pay a gas fee, right? And usually that gas fee would be high if that NFT is in high demand. But in here, I use 0.01, which is kind of like a low gas fee. Sometimes I've seen people paying 0.1 Ethereum for gas fees if they are a highly sought project in public sale. And uh, okay, so once you mint an NFT, uh, uh, you, you pay the NFT price, you pay the minting fee, okay? What happened is that if you want to sell it on any NFT platform like Marketplace, you have to pay an approval fee for each collection, right? So this is a collection fee. So assuming if you pay an approval fee, which is 0 0.01 right after you mint, um, so basically you are making a loss of 0 0.12. Then you smarty pants decide to double and sell for 0 0.2 ethereum right because you double from the mint price right so you smarty pants think you're so smart and then you'll find out that actually you are not making that much money you're not making 0 0.1 ethereum because there is a royalty and usually royalties how do you check royalties right when you go to ic tools and then when you click into let's say this is it when you click into project right there is a royalty here. So this project is selling at 10% royalty, right? But this is not the percentage that uh, you, you have deducted from the selling price because you have a marketplace royalty in OpenSea 0.2. So it's 12.5% gone, right? So if, let's say using this situation, right? Let's say we have a royalty of 7.5% and then we have a platform fee, which is OpenSea 2.5%. You basically have 0 0.0 of Ethereum gone from the 0 0.2 sale, right? So after, you know, in order to find out whether you're making a profit by selling your NFT, what you'll have to do is you have to get your selling price, let's say this smarty pants decide to have 0 0.2 Ethereum, and then deduct all the costs related. And in the end, he actually only got a profit of 0 0.06 Ethereum rather than 0 0.1 Ethereum that he initially thought or she initially thought, right? When you buy and sell NFT, you have to know all of these fees involved and also the gas fee. And these are all, you know, just for weapons. These are fluctuates, depends on how busy the blockchain is. And if you don't understand this, you would never make money with NFT unless you are very, very lucky, okay? All right, next one is buy and sell, okay? Imagine Smarty Pants number two sees this guy selling an NFT for 0 0.2. And then Smarty Pants decides that they can flip it, right? So they go to OpenSea, they buy the NFT for 0 0.2 Ethereum. Okay, they pay gas fee in order to buy it, right? Uh, as, as I said, gas fee, you know, depends on the um, the network congestion at that time. If, you know, that NFT is very well sold after the gas will be high, then Smarty Pants have to approve once for the uh, NFT collection. And then they try to Smarty Pants decides that, hey, oh no, the floor is dropping, right? So Smarty Pants immediately decides to sell at 0 0.23 Ethereum, thinking that they'll make 0 0.03 Ethereum profit, right? But... Smarty Pants forgot that there's a royalty and a platform fee and in, in the end makes a loss of 0 0.02 Ethereum, right? So the summary is that the biggest winners are actually the miners. Actually, you pay fees to the miners, right? Minters, you know, by luck and demand, uh, if they are lucky, they found a project at 2x, uh, at least they can make some money if, you know, there is a demand, right? The creators of the NFTs, you know, with all the royalties and also the platform fee. So that's it. A simple video for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you don't watch this, if you don't learn this, you'll never <laughs> make any money with NFT and you'll make loss. And this is something that I've seen so many times and it's so stupid because it's all on the blockchain and I can see people making loss by minting and then selling it, uh, you know, without accounting all of the fees involved or the royalties, right? So before you ape into a project, check out the royalties, see if it's like a huge royalty and make sure you account that before you sell your NFTs. 
So this is your host, Nambajabu PC, signing out.